this episode of It's the End of the World as We Know It and I Feel Fine was made possible by contributions from slaves like you. Thank you very much. I think you have to remember that the Black Bloc movement, if you look at all the polls, articulates what the mainstream wants. A and so uh, the Black Bloc movement is going to have to draw some very uh, sharp lines. Uh, it, it's got to stop the Democratic administration. Uh, and that's because they deeply fear this movement. It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. Good morning, Slaves, and welcome to another edition of It's the End of the World as We Know It and I Feel Fine, the show that never takes a day off. Bueller. 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 Um, he's sick. Well, sometimes we do. I'm your host, Stimulator, and we are less than two months away from the May Day general strike. The Occupy movement has called for people to take to the streets to bring about the global paralysis of the economy on May 1st. What this means is, no fucking school, no fucking work, no fucking chores, no fucking shopping, Hello? Is there anybody that can ring me up? and no fucking banking. Yo, Stim. What's up, Agitator? But what if I have to work? I don't want to get fucking fired. That's easy, Agitator. Just call in sick. Say you have ocular herpes or some shit. That's fucking gross. Yeah, I know. But what if my dumbass boss sees me on TV? Simple. Wear a mask. Like the Guy Fox mask we wear, we are anonymous. We are legion. We All right, shut up, dude. We already know that. Anyway, those V for Vendetta masks cost fucking money. I'm pretty fucking broke. No sweat. Do you have a black t-shirt? Do I look like I have a fucking torso? For this little tip, you don't need a fucking torso. You just need a head. Okay, let's pretend you have a head and a black t-shirt. Take that shit and flip it inside out and wear it over your head. Tie the sleeves behind your brain bucket and make sure you can fucking see. To kick it up a notch, put on a pair of dark sunglasses. But I don't want to be the only douchebag walking down the street looking like a fucking ninja. If you have any friends, invite them. Get them to wear the ninja mask and black clothes and take to the streets together as a block. A black block, if you may. That way you can show your solidarity with each other. Masking up also protects you from the ever-reaching surveillance state that aims to catalog and suppress anyone who opposes this insane matrix. This is what this is all about, agitator. If millions of peeps lose their fear by standing together with each other, we could show the motherfuckers of the 1% who the real bosses in this piece are and become the cancer of this redonkulous system. Like peeps in India, who brought their massive nation to a standstill when millions of them didn't show up to work in what some are calling the largest strike in history. Roads were blocked, banks remained closed, and public transport was a no-go. If that doesn't inspire you to get out there and agitate on May Day, maybe these courageous freedom fighters will get you off your ass. In Bolivia, hundreds of disabled peeps travel 1,400 kilometers to the capital to demand better treatment from the motherfucking government. For the first time in our struggle, society is on our side. There has been a lot of solidarity. We have been beaten, we have been threatened, and because of that, this has to end. We have rights, and we demand to be treated equally and given the same rights. Once they arrived, they were met by riot pigs. But this did not stop the motherfucking resistance from expressing their rage. Check this shit out. As we saw in Greece last month, things are heating up all over the goddamn place. In Quebec, students are fucking pissed at tuition hikes imposed by the fucking government. Over 100,000 students have joined the call to action and will once again take to the streets on March 22nd. The powers that be are fucking terrified of students as they have witnessed their fighting power in recent years. Namely in Chile, where a growing student movement continues to bum rush the show and in the UK where peeps took to the streets and destroyed the headquarters of the Conservative Party in 2010. This May Day we will see the joining of students, working stiffs, wage slaves, homeless folks, anarchists and all kinds of pissed off people 
and we will take back our lives from these exploitative profiteers, and in the streets we will be uncontrollable. And that about does it for this edition of It's the End of the World, so we know it and I feel fine. I want to say in a whoop whoop to all the peeps who chipped in to keep this insurrectionary cancer growing. Stephanie, Brandon, Jean, Christian, Kyle, Catherine, Troy, Adrian, Vincent, Mitchell, and an extra special motherfucking shout out to my man Luxy the Magnificent. Yadong Ji. I also want to let you motherfuckers know that I am currently booking my tour of Europe, where I hope to witness the collapse of the birthplace of industrial civilization. So to book me in your town, send me a fucking email. Stimulator at submedia.tv To coming on this show or to send me the sky suggestions, just visit my fucking website, stimulator.tv Stay tuned next time for an interview with legendary Australian rapper and documentary filmmaker Izzy Brown. Now, let's make our actions match our rhetoric. Yeah, fuck diplomacy, I only see one option now. Molotovs throughout their towns until they buildings dropping down. It sounds excessive, I'm relentless in this way of life. My prayers will guide my actions, I'll stay savage till the day I die. This terrorist fit, if you don't know what my heritage is, it's very specific. Native, free from Americanism. Even the blind can see these people dead wrong. I ain't praying for